Yeah, it's a great day for us to celebrate with our patients because we look well, but in other ways we are sick, all of us. Because when we take care of the sick, when in case they die, we go back when we are also sick because we get that torture. So I want to appreciate all of you, all those taking care of nurses, of the sick, both nurses and other members who work within the facility for doing such a great job. I know just as the two colleagues have shared, when COVID attacked us, let me call it, it attacked us, it reached a point that it was a morning moment in this facility when over 20 were going for quarantine. We were imagining how many people are going to care for the patients if the nurses themselves have gone for quarantine. But I know through God's grace, through your prayers, we managed it. And through that morning moment, we were saved by the present with us here, the Chief of of Health. He came to our rescue. So we really appreciated that. So for myself, I'll not give any more message. I just want to read the message from the Pope. Every year as we celebrate the day for the sick, we usually get a message from the Pope speaking to us, to our patients, that as we care for them, we know that him being there, he is praying for us and he is with us. When we are sick, he's also sick. When he's well, we are also well. So we have this paper here, the message from the bishop. Some of us, we have it, but I'm only going to read it some portions. The other part of it, we'll do it for ourselves. The concept notes. The theme of the day is, be merciful as your father is merciful. That is Luke 6, 36. To stand by those who suffer on a path of charity. The sick person must always be welcomed, cared for, visited, and loved as a person whose dignity is independent of this illness. Precisely in this life, Pope Francis reminds us that closeness to the sick and uh, their pastoral care is not the task only of certain specific, specifically dedicated ministers. It is an invitation that Christ addresses to all his disciples. Francis' message for World Day of the Sick, 2022. Dear brothers and sisters, 30 years ago, St. John Paul II instituted the World Day of the Sick to encourage the people of God, Catholic health institutions, and civil society to be increasingly attentive to the sick and to those who care for them. We are grateful to the Lord for the progress made over the years, in particular churches worldwide. Many advances have been made, yet there is still a long way to go in ensuring all that the sick, also those living in places and situations of great poverty and marginalization, receive the health care they need, as well as the pastoral care that can help them experience their sickness in celebration due to pandemic, will make places as planned as Arequia, Peru, but St. Peter Basilica in the Vatican help us grow in closeness and service to the sick and to their families. One merciful like the Father. The being chosen for this 30th World Day of the Sick, be merciful even as your Father is merciful, makes us first turn our gaze towards God, who is rich in mercy. He always watches over his children with a Father's love even when they turn away from him. Mercy is God's name per excellence. For this reason, we can say with wonder and gratitude that God's mercy embraces both fatherhood and motherhood. God cares for us with the strength of a father and the tenderness of a mother. He unceasingly desires to give us new life in the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the mercy of the Father. The supreme witness of the Father's merciful love for the sick is his holy begotten Son. How often do Gospels relate Jesus' encounters with people suffering from various diseases? He went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the Gospel of the Kingdom 
and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. We do well to ask ourselves why Jesus showed such a great concern for the sick, so much so that he made it paramount in the mission of the apostles who are sent by the Master to proclaim the Gospel to heal the sick. Three, to touch the suffering flesh of Christ. Jesus' invitation to be merciful like the Father has particular significance for healthcare workers. I think of all these physicians, nurses, laboratory technicians, the support staff and the caretakers of the sick, as well as numerous volunteers who donate their precious time to assist those who suffer. Dear health care workers, your service alongside the sick, carried out with love and competence, transcendent the bounds of the professional and becomes a mission. Your hands which touch the suffering flesh of Christ can be a sign of the merciful hands of the Father. Be mindful of the great dignity, your profession, as well as the responsibility it entails. Centers for care as houses of mercy. These are precious means whereby Christian charity has taken visible shape and the love of Christ, witnessed by that of his disciples, has become more credible. We still have a long way to go in some countries. Access to adequate care remains a luxury. We see this, for example, in the scarcity of available vaccines against COVID-19 in poor countries, but even more in the lack of treatment of illness that requires much similar medicines. Pastoral mercy, present and proximity. In the past 30 years, pastoral health care has also seen its indispensable service increasingly recognized. In the worst discrimination suffered by the poor, including the sick, who are in health, is lack of spiritual attention. We cannot fail to offer them God's closeness, his blessings and his word, as well as celebration of the sacraments and the opportunities for a journey of growth and mat maturation of faith. In this regard, in this regard I would like to remind everyone that closeness to the sick and their pastoral care is not only the task of certain specification, designated ministers. Visiting the sick is an invitation that Christ addresses to all his disciples. How many sick and elderly people are living at home and waiting for a visit? The Ministry of Consolation is a task for every baptized person mindful of the word of Jesus. I was sick and you visited me. Dear brothers and sisters, to the intercession of Mary, health of the infirm, I entrust all the sick and their families, united with Christ, who bear the pain of the world. May they find meaning, consolation, and trust. I pray for healthcare workers everywhere that reach in mercy they may offer patients together with suitable care their fraternal closeness. To all, I cordially impart my apostolic blessings, Francis. Thank you so much for listening for this. I want to wish you all God's blessing. Thank you.